Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best selling author, and the only three time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com. Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. With me is the inventor of the infomercial and the original star of the hit TV series, Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington. Kevin, thanks so much for being here. Seth, great to be here. Looking forward to our special guest today. Let's do yes, it. We are here today with Brandon Bornanson of Seamless.ai. With an award-winning group of entrepreneurs, Brandon started Seamless.ai to disrupt an entire industry with a goal of organizing the world's contacts and making them universally accessible and useful. Brandon, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. And you can tell the PR team wrote that because that's not the way that I would ever pitch it. Well, let's talk about that. So let's go back in time. How did you get started starting Seamless? Yeah, you know, it it was kind of similar. I know Kevin started in Ohio. Well, I I was selling for IBM and Google here and uh, found it time consuming, expensive and difficult to connect with and contact all the B2B companies and contacts I needed to sell to. And, uh, you know, luckily I got to work with all the engineers at Google and I'm like, why can't we just build a Google for salespeople where you can type in any title, any company, boom, everyone that you need to sell to. And then, uh, before that, my, my partners and I sold IBM Watson at IBM. So I'm like, okay, let's use Google and create a search engine like that, that finds all the titles and companies that you need to sell to. And then let's use AI to find emails and cell phones for everyone you need to sell to. And then, you know, you throw a few million dollars at the problem and, and years of hard work and boom, Seamless.ai was born. And now we help the world connect opportunity and uh, power over 150,000 sales teams. It's amazing. So, so uh, Brandon, how did you, like your first big project, what, who was the, the, the big wow. kahuna that, that changed things for your future? Yeah, it's funny. I I feel like all the entrepreneurs remember these stories, right? But uh, it took us two and a half years to build Seamless.ai because the engineers, you know, Google, Sergey Brin and and Larry, Sergey is an investor in Seamless. They tried to sell at 700K. They tried to sell at 10 million because it was miserable building Google. Uh, It's just a huge technology to, to, to create, right? So it took us two and a half years to build Seamless.ai. And while my engineers are building the platform, I first started selling custom contact lists manual that I would research at night and then I would go cold call people. Uh, but there was a time where the engineers were costing hundreds of thousands of dollars and I was pitching a big B2B customer, one of the largest data companies in the world. And I pitched them this six figure deal And it was like, I had $5,000 left in the bank account. And that month, if I didn't get the deal closed, we were out of business. And uh, I remember, you know, this is like a a Fortune 100 company. Uh I'm pitching them, hey, we're a super startup, barely have a website. You don't know us. You have to spend over a hundred grand. Oh, and by the way, we can't get started unless you pay us cash. Right. They're like, we have net 90. Uh, we don't even know who you are. What's your W9? What's your, you know, see all these tax codes. I'm like, shit, I don't know. Let's go get that done and that done. Uh, and luckily we were able to do such a good job with like the white glove VIP treatment that they ended up moving forward with us. Procurement tried to beat the shit out of us, cut the deal in half. But I'm like, if, if I let procurement cut the deal in half, the company goes under. 
So I'm like, no, it's a hundred grand, no matter what. And we, we will not do uh, net 90. You have to pay right now or we'll wait to get started. And they pulled the trigger. It was like the first deal that's ever happened. And that's that allowed great. us, you know, a few months of runway. Beautiful. Well, I mean, so I would think when you're talking to people about generating leads for them, they would say, well, we, we have a current program that's gener generating leads and we're happy with that. What, so what, and, and I don't know if you, if, if, if your pitch is based on much better leads, lower cost leads, but what, what's the, the ultimate angle from your side? Because I mean, even my own company, I, I have a, a roofing company. We're generating leads every day for that company. If you pitched me, I'd say, I have a, an existing system. Why should I use you? What's the Yeah, angle? totally. It, it comes down to being a technology first company or being like a, uh, services human based company. So all these sales databases that, that I used to spend millions of dollars. So I spent over $3.7 million at IBM and Google on sales databases, the Dun and Bradstreet leads, the zoom info leads, the discover org leads, you name it. Right. And the, the problem is, is these databases, they've got 500 people in a, in an office, manually calling company lines, manually researching emails, like 500 people cannot go. There's 7 billion people on this planet, right? You can't have 500 people research 7 billion people. So that's where the idea came from. I wrote this check for $3.7 million for four different sales databases. And I was selling Google and IBM to the top fortune marketers in the world, IBM Watson and Google paid ads. And when I logged into these databases after writing this massive check, None of the decision makers, none of the users, none of the influencers were in this database. And that's when we're like, okay, let's build the Google, let's build the AI, find everyone you need to sell to using artificial intelligence. And what happens is a database will be able to have 10% of your total addressable market. So if there's 100,000 people that you need to sell to, that database will probably have 10,000. Seamless using AI and, and a search engine can find... 90,000 or 95,000 of your 100,000 in your TAM. And, and right now we've researched billions of people. So we could, we could almost research half the global population. And then lastly, we use AI instead of humans calling switchboards to research, validate, and verify cell phones and emails and insights for anyone in the world. And boom, that's how you know we've been able to revolutionize contacting everyone that you need to sell to. Which is absolutely yeah. phenomenal. So what so i use your service i say who i want it goes out and finds them what happens next and what are some of the most common mistakes b2b consultants and salespeople are making when it comes to that part of the process yeah i would say you know and this aligns with my newest number one bestseller whatever it takes like the first thing is everyone always underestimates the amount of work, time, and capital, and, and contacts it takes. So step one, if you think that your perfect funnel converts at 10%, and you need to contact 100 people to close 10 deals, it's probably you need to contact 1,000 people to close 10 deals. So I would set really massive targets. And the number one thing to scale any business is the list. You need to have a list of every single contact and company in the world that you need to sell to. You know, Kevin, you the creator of Infomercial, if you've got a list and you've got your ads and videos going to that list, they will convert and they will buy, but you need to get in front of all of those people. So I'd say step one, build a massive list, set big targets, and then you want to use data and research to connect and win those appointments and those sales. You got to use insights about the contact and the company, uh, and you want to build your list to niche. Like you don't want to say, hey, you know, if you go to an airport and you try to scream, hey, everybody, I sell this type of product, no one's going to listen to you. But if you're like, hey, Kevin Harrington, Kevin, I've got this amazing B2B product that will help your roofing company get into every commercial roof, you know, roofing that needs your services, Let, let's talk. That, that niche messaging with the niche list, you know, lights up a prospect like the 4th of July. You've got some amazing case studies and examples of business to businesses that have used your, your, your program to achieve amazing results. Can you just share a couple right now, kind of like how that's worked? 
Yeah. So Dan DiFilippo, he worked at a company called Live Intent. Live Intent is a MarTech company. They went from 30 million in sales to 80 million in ARR in less than 20 months. Uh, John Warner with Warner SI, zero to 12 million in ARR in 90 days. And for those that don't know what ARR is, it's annual recurring revenue. DJ Hume with Life Threads went from zero to $10 million in ARR in 45 days. David from Equitable Advisors, zero to $4 million in the FinTech space uh, in eight months. Bo Mitchell, zero to 3.7 million in ARR in uh, 60 days. So That's absolutely case incredible. Says, How are you translating from, are you, where per, you, you got them the database, you got them the lead, you got them the contact information. Does your service or do you provide any guidance in terms on how to turn that name on a list into an actual prospect? Mm, yeah, great question. We were kind of forced to do this. Uh, because if you've got the Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross leads, which yeah. is what seamless.ai <laughs> really is, and you but you don't know how to sell and you think the leads are weak when really, no, you just you you know you don't know how to prospect, sell, pitch, close. So we've been kind of forced to help our customers, which we want to do anyways. We were forced to create the sales training on calling, emailing, social selling, pitching, sales discovery, closing, objection handling. I'm not interested, no budget, it's too expensive. Already working with someone, call me back later. What's your guarantee, you name it. We've created courses on all of these things that are included when you buy a Seamless.ai license and anyone in the world can actually use Seamless for free. You can just join for free at Seamless.ai and that training is included, part of it is. Your passion is obvious. What do you like best about what you do? Oh, man, it, all the success stories, right? Uh, I believe that you're one list away from the life you want, the family you want, the marriage you want, the income, the sales, the houses, the vacations, the financial freedom. Everything you want in this life is just one list away, one contact away. Me connecting with Kevin Harrington could fundamentally change his life, could fundamentally change my life, you name it, and, and Seth and anyone in the world, right? Uh, my whole life, I, I haven't had the connections or the resources for the people that would create opportunity for me, I had to go out and create it and find it. And Seamless is helping the world connect to anyone, regardless of background, financial backing, education, family ties, you name it. So seeing hundreds and thousands of case studies every day come in about people making all this money, finding new investors, finding new sales, new customers. There's nothing that, that fuels you up more than that. Uh, it's unbelievable. Brandon, let me ask you a question. If somebody pitches you a deal to, you know, you talk about this $100,000 check that you had to get. It's yeah. a startup that doesn't have that hundred grand. Do you ever look at maybe taking an equity stake in exchange, you know, sort of a, a barter services for equity kind of thing? Is that ever something that you'd consider? Oh yeah, great question. So, so the good news about Seamless is you can join for free and then a license for unlimited sales leads they're only a few thousand dollars a year. So, so we, back in the day, I had to do that hundred thousand dollar deal or else the company went under. Now, you know, once we've, we've got over 150,000 people on the platform, we've been able to lower the price and scale the services. Um, but yeah, I would definitely be open to equity deals or uh, like you say, like royalty deals or license deals. I feel like as I was building Seamless, I was watching Shark Tank every other day, you know, <laughs> trying to figure out, I pitched 347 venture capitalists, 297 of them said no. You know, I, I would definitely be the, the guy that would bet uh, and the team that would bet on entrepreneurs to help them find their first 50, 100 customers and take a piece of the action. Very okay. nice. Awesome. With all the success you've achieved, what's your biggest challenge now? Uh, you know, it, it was like, hey, I, I got to get to a million dollars. Then you get to a million dollars and you're like, ah, oh, man, that was cool. And I, th th was, that wasn't as hard. I mean, it was hard and you go through hell, but then you're like, okay, well, now I want to do 10 million. And then you do 10 million. You're like, oh, I want to do multiple eight figures. And then you do that. You know, the next big thing for me is uh, IPO. Yeah, I've never built a nine-figure company on my own, right? Um, I've never IPO'd before on my own. And I believe that I can fundamentally transform all the people that leverage our platform and all the people that work for me, their lives by IPOing. Because no matter what, I've got a lot of money. I'll have a lot of money always. And, and once you have the Ferraris and the houses, this shit doesn't mean anything compared to like transforming and changing people's lives. And yeah. I used to think that buying these things would make me happy and they don't. Uh, that's what I want to do. We, we got to IPO. 
uh, and uh, just change the industry. Good strategy. I mean, today you've got you know, IPOs, you've got the special purpose, they call them SPACs. SPACs the yeah, we call it SPAC it. Yeah, so SPAC might be an interesting approach for you. Um, yes, absolutely. And so um, love to, to hear when, when you get closer to that, let's reconnect for sure, because we've been involved with dozens of public companies, IPOs, SPACs, et cetera. I did my first SPAC probably 30 years ago. So, wow. um, and now it's becoming cool to do a SPAC, yeah, right? Now okay. it's like the hottest thing. Right. So, um, um, yeah, we, 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 lo we love that, that kind of, uh, you know, it, it's, 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 it's transformational for you, the company. Mm -hmm. It also yeah. gives an entrepreneur like yourself a chance as a pubco, it's no longer, you don't, you're not funding it. The public company needs its own funding. So we raise some capital around that. You got money in the bank, then you grow based on your business plan. So it, it's, that's the, the smart way to go. It's also builds huge value because now somebody else is funding it, you know, the pubco yep. or investors in pubco. And you have the upside of the stock prices as your business is growing. You just you got to be careful not to go sell all your stock as an insider kind of thing. But there's great upsides in in the world of public companies. Yeah, we we love it. I, I just had our company meeting last Friday, and I said, guys, you know, everyone wants us to do you know X. Well, we're going to do a hundred million, and we're going to we and we're going to spack it. And we had the whole company yell, spack it, spack it, spack it. Um, so we, we're all on board with that, Kevin. And, and we don't know what we're doing there. So would love to get your advice and strategy to help us go to market. That'd be amazing. Awesome. Right. Brandon, anything else you want to share with us uh, before we wrap up? We know your time's incredibly valuable. What didn't I think to ask you? Now, I would just say, you know, it. <sighs> again, you're just one contact away. You're one list away from the life that you want. Go join seamless.ai for free. Get connected with the people like Seth, like Kevin, like your, your best next customers, you name it. Don't, don't think, don't not take action. Just go sign up. You seamless connect to your next employer, your next customer, your next, you know, potential biggest prospect in the world. Also, I write daily sales scripts and strategies at Seamless, so you'll get our daily newsletter. And then lastly, we just published three number one best-selling books in one year. My latest is uh, Whatever It Takes. Pick it up today. And then Kevin is in our latest Sales Secrets. So pick up Sales Secrets as well on Amazon. And thank you guys so much. That is Randy, awesome. Good job, this man. Is, this Stay safe. safe. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching or listening. We'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text pitch to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.